Hey guys, Tyler with Meeple Mountain here, bringing you another board game review. This time from our friends at Alley Cat Games, who've given us a review copy of their travel size game that's a dexterity game for two to six players, Tinder Blocks. In the game of Tinder Blocks, you and your opponents are going to be working to build a campfire together, but if anybody messes up and knocks any of the lumber or the fire out of the campfire that you're building, they're going to be eliminated and you're going to keep going until only one campfire builder remains. This is an amazing little travel game in a pint-sized, adorable tin box. But there's a lot of fun there, so don't let the size fool you for the amount of replayability and enjoyment that this game can bring to your group and your table as you travel or play at home. So grab your favorite flannel, get ready to make some s'mores, and let's get to the table and learn how to play Tinder Blocks. Welcome to the world of Tinder Blocks, a campfire building game for two to six players where you and your opponents will be working together to build off of a campfire base that you'll start off of collectively. You'll be using the deck of card drawn items to tell you what type of items that you're going to be adding to the campfire on your turn. You'll be using your main or your undominant hand, depending on if there is a hand switch card on the top left of your particular card. You'll then work to assemble the little components that you'll be building building based on the instruction and diagrams you have below. And then you'll be taking these wonderful tweezers that you see here. You'll be working to grab those particular items all in one go and then carefully, delicately place them onto the campfire in one attempt. Once you've placed them, you have to let go and move to the next player. And play will continue like this with people placing their particular campfire pieces until something falls off of the campfire log. When that happens, that player is eliminated from the game. And the other players will continue to build on the campfire until only one campfire builder remains. We'll take a look at the different cards and what you can expect to find within Tinder Blocks, but this is a quick little dexterity game that travels with you in this wonderful small box and takes probably upwards of 15 minutes to play. Most of the time, much less than that because it depends on your game group and their dexterity, but I have shaky hands. So as you can see, uh, building campfires is not necessarily my strong suit, but there is a lot of fun to be had here. So let's dive in and take a look at the various cards you can expect to see and talk a little bit about what's inside the box. Here we have just another look at some more cards that you can find within a game of Tender Blocks. When you start the game, you're going to decide which side of the campfire piece, the starter that you want to use, this simple kind of three log side by side build, or this one that's really interesting where you have two logs kind of side by side and then one on top and caddy cornered and angled on those two cubes. So this one's a little more precarious, kind of the advanced setting. Then on your turn, you're just gonna flip a card. Here's some more examples of them with kind of duplicates showing the basic card for your dominant hand and a hand on the top left, meaning you have to use your non-dominant hand to build that particular piece. You're then going to take the tweezers and you're going to dig for the piece that you need or pieces that you need to assemble them outside of this little tin box. You're gonna take those items from your tin box and you're going to place them onto the campfire in a way that legally uh, works, which means it can't touch the ground it has to be touching those three starter blocks and be building upward from there. If anything falls off of the campfire at all, you're eliminated and play continues to the next player. You can see how with the size and scale of this, the game runs pretty quickly. And for a player count of even up to six players on this, you might only get one or two turns before everyone else is eliminated or you fail because the campfire will build up very rapidly. This is a great little travel game uh, that will let you, you know, have lots of fun as you go camping, as you go to the pub with your friends, and just want to pass a couple minutes quickly in a fun little dexterity-based game. Uh, there's a lot of fun to see here, but what's great about Tinder Blocks is that the rules are very simple to teach, and the execution is very replayable. You're really just getting that fun of, boy, what card am I going to get, and how am I going to build the best campfire? Do I want to try to build a really sturdy, solid campfire so that I can keep building? Or do I want to try and lay traps and make things precarious for my opponents and hope that they mess up and, and drop something out of the campfire so I can be victorious? Lots of fun little choices to have here, but again, a uh, very compact, easy to learn little game system. And that, in a nutshell, is everything that you need to know to jump in and have an amazing time with Tinderblocks. But what did I think about it? Well, let's run through kind of the pros and 
I guess, pseudo cons of this game. Uh, pros, in my opinion, this game is adorable. It's cute, it's got a fun little tin, it's amazingly compact, very travel friendly. This is the kind of game that you want to take with you when you're camping or when you're going to the pub and waiting on your friends. Uh, it has everything you need to have a lot of fun in here. Uh, infinitely replayable almost because you never know how shaky your hand will be on a particular pull, you never know what cards you'll get, uh, and again it plays and repeats very quickly because the game really takes like five to seven minutes usually, uh, depending on your group. So it is not a long game uh, by any means. Um, it's great. I really enjoyed it. I'm so glad Alley Cat got us a, a review copy of it. I just think it's really fun. It fits that board game dexterity niche very, very well. Uh, and I'm very excited to keep this one with me for years to come because it's just a great travel game. Um, again, not even cons, but just things to kind of keep in mind as you're looking at this. Of course, it's a small box game, so that means it's not strategically insanely deep. Uh, you know, there's no trickery or special things you can really do here. It's Draw a card, pick up cubes, put them on, you know, thing with tweezers. That's that's pretty much it. Uh, but that's plenty. That's what you've bought. You know, that's if that's what you go into knowing you're expecting, it is a fantastic game. It is worth mentioning with higher player counts. I touched on this earlier in the review. Like, there are times when you won't get... Uh, maybe a lot of turns if you're playing with six players because, you know, it's going to get toppled by someone early on and maybe you'll only have a turn or two. So I could see how that could be a little less fulfilling. Um, but overall, that's a pretty minor critique. Again, if you play with less players, you get more turns, obviously, uh, and the game is very enjoyable. So we would just kind of have tournaments and we'd have the winners play each other. That was how we did it. Uh, but again, to each their own, just worth knowing. Uh, the other thing, it's a small thing, but the, the tin is very cute, but it is kind of a soft fit with the lid. And I could see how if you're carrying this around, the lid could pop off and then all of your contents could spill out onto the trail where you're hiking or under the tables at the pub where you're at or whatever. So I would say this is a rubber bander if you're taking it with you. This is definitely worth kind of just sealing down really well to make sure that the stuff does not come out to visit you in an unplanned time. But again, maybe that's just my particular tin. It's just not a common thing, but worth keeping in mind as well since you have a lot of bits and pieces that could pop out to visit you. Uh, but outside of that, again, these are just kind of just general critiques. Uh, this game checks all the boxes for being a small box dexterity niche game. Uh, and I think if you go into it knowing that, you're going to have a fantastic time because I had a fantastic time. Again, this is a fantastic game. Really, really enjoyed it. So glad we got to review it and looking forward to playing it over and over again with my friends uh, as we travel around and go to restaurants and different places. Uh, so anyway, uh, I want to thank you guys for checking this video out. I hope that this video gave you an idea of what's in the box and what to expect when looking at Tinder Blocks. And again, I would highly recommend it if you're looking for a small box game in that dexterity range of uh, the board game world. So definitely can't recommend Tinder Blocks to y'all enough. Very, very fun. Very cute theme, uh, great little travel companion for you. Uh, but I want to thank you guys for checking this video out. I hope that you will continue to come to Meeple Mountain for your board game related needs. Hit that bell, like, subscribe, drop us a comment, and tell us what games you want to see reviewed next. We love hearing from you guys because we make content solely because we love board games just as much as you do. Uh, but we hope you'll continue to come back and check us out as we make future videos. But as always, thank you guys, and we want to wish you happy gaming. Thanks for checking out this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Check out these links to find some other games you might want to bring to the table. This is Tyler Williams, signing off.